So you guys may be wondering, well, you didn't see it yet, but you may be wondering why my wheels are off and why my car is in the garage. And there's a very, very simple answer to that. My caliper died. Not this side, this side I replaced. The other side is now the issue. I should have replaced it at the same time. Couldn't afford to at the time. Could have afforded it in the middle of summer. Can barely afford it now, but it's fine. So what I'm going to be doing is actually just going and rebuilding this caliper. I'm going to try. I don't have a rebuilding kit, which is just seals. I'm going to see if I can maintain the seals as best as I can and clean it out. Because it seems the fact that it wasn't a slow lock, it was more of just like an instant yank of it when I was driving, that it might just be some chunks of rubber from the hose that got in it and clogged it. So we're going to take it apart, clean it out, and then put it back together. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. So let's get started. Look like this supposed to be a little bit of meat here. These are low, but it's not bad. There's meat here, and then here's the metal back shim. Now going on to this side, there's just the back shim. And actually the back shim is gone partially, and you can see it dug into the rotor. Because as I was driving, I actually had meat on these not that long ago, and this caliper was fine. But as I was driving, all of a sudden this side just locked up and burnt through what was left of the pad and just completely shredded up the rotor and everything. So that's the reason why we're fixing this side. So I'm gonna have to pull this caliper off, which is gonna be a struggle on its own. And pull the piston out, get new pads in, new rotors, and pull the piston out, clean up the whole inside, everything like that, make sure all the rubber is gone. Put a new line on here, because the line probably, like, that's the only way I can think, is that broke. That or there's some corrosion towards the outside of the piston. And I can clean that up as well. But then put the caliper back together. And then put these back in. Put new rotors on both sides and new pads on both sides. Unfortunately, I didn't get slotted and drilled rotors this time. I just got regular standard rotors. It's not going to be the end of the world. Probably not going to notice it because I can barely see my brakes with the spacers on. Which are gone right now. So it'll be interesting. And the new pads, I don't know how good they are. But they're recommended. They stop. So that's good enough for now. Time to forget you I'm all alone in a ghost town There's a beautiful madness Inside my soul and I can't stop Thinking of you Walking on the lonely avenue Are you? Are you? Right now the piston's actually really loose. Like I can move it back and forth. So I'm gonna pull it right out. Try to line this up as best as I can. So right now the inside of the caliper, you can see the piston. It's very rusty on the outside right here. I want to bring it closer, but I really can't, so. Right here, the piston's rusty on the outside edge. Inside-wise, it's not really rusty. I mean, it's got a little bit here, which means it's inevitable that this is gonna come back. What I can do is I can try and clean this up as best as I can. Some sandpaper. I looked up a lot of different ways. Seems like there's a little bit of stuff in there. That doesn't belong. took a little break because even though I real I rebuilt this caliper perfectly and I'm saying perfectly because it was like perfect so then the bleeder valve got stuck which I was super upset about but I just kept trudging along you know things happen well now looking at it you can see a lot's happened basically I kept trying to use uh, 
screw removal tool, which should have worked. But I didn't realize that the bleeder valve was just permanently melded to the metal. So when I tried to pull it out, not only did it break in there, but the rest of the tool just shattered up. So it's in like five pieces now and it's really fucking broken. So I just kind of assume, hey, this is not going to work. So I went to AutoZone and I got a new caliper, which is right here underneath stuff already because I took a pretty big break after being really depressed about this. I got my new Durless caliper from AutoZone. I was trying to return the core, but I didn't have the bracket. And I was like, well, can you keep the bracket? Well, they didn't want to take out their tools to pop it off because they're lazy. So, yeah. But I've got the whole caliper now. I have to bring the thing back tomorrow. I got the, this at least. So I'm going to go install this. I'm going to give them the, the bracket it came with because I'm just too lazy to swap them. And honestly, I don't need to. Mine's fine. So let's go get this on and then I get the whole car back together and it'll be fine again. So right now I have the new caliper on. And these bunnies will not shut up. There are bunny rabbits behind me, so that's the noise. They get very active at night. And one of them being an annoying pain in the ass. But I've got the new caliper on, and it's all ready. It hasn't been bled yet, but we need the rest of the brakes to be on. So I'm going to get the pins. I think there are new pins in this box. If not, I'm going to be mad because it said it came with new pins. It did. So we got our new pins here. I don't know if I will use them, because I don't know if I did last time, because I think they're thinner. Honestly. Now I'm doing my basic brake change, so now that I've got the rotor on, it's just the same old stuff. Putting pads in and everything like that. my wheel on and I took it back off because I forgot one major thing. I forgot to bleed the brakes so I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna go get the brake bleeder and hook it up and then bleed these brakes so then I don't crash because that's kind of important. Just saying.